notes that we're actually going to be taking and this lecture is being taped. So if you need to go back and listen to it, you can listen to it, okay? So we're talking today about the importance of living in alignment, okay? So the importance of living in alignment when it comes to the yogas and the yoga sutras, the yoga is about your connection of your mind, your body, and your spirit. That means living in congruence, right? So you have to live in congruence. What does congruence mean? What's the date today? 120 what? Eight. What does living in congruence mean? What does the word congruence mean? Same or equal. Give me another synonym. Not quite. Same or equal meaning that, okay, I'll take that. Same or equal, right? So that I'm equally I'm equal in my mind, I'm equal in my words, and I'm equal in my body, yes? Congruence. And from congruence, then you, when you live in congruence, you also live in integrity. Yes? Smile, guys. It's not that hard to comprehend, right? You live in integrity. Who knows the meaning of integrity? Go ahead, raise your hand, guys. It's okay. You can't get a success if you don't have a failure, right? So raise your hand. Who knows the, who wants to try to figure out what is integrity, sir? Well, the morals that someone has. Okay, morals, your values, right? Your value system. Yeah, that is good, but that's not quite the meaning of integrity. A very basic meaning. Valerie, give me a very basic meaning of integrity. I would say you live what you say you're going to do. Formulate that just a little bit more. Just repeat it. You got it right there. You live the life that you say you're going to live and you do what you say you're going to do. That's it. That's it. That's what integrity is, girls and guys. That's what yoga tells us. The yoga sutras. The alignment of the mind, the body, and the spirit to live an integritous life. To do what you say you're going to say you're going to do. Or don't speak. Don't say you're going to do your homework, and then when I ask you what your where your homework is, you don't have it. You're out of integrity. You're out of alignment. Your first chakra is out of alignment. Your core values come in through your first chakra. That's why it's important to be aligned in the chakras mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and then guess what? <sighs> Physically, the body does too. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm sorry, I can't hear your head rattle. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yes, right? If you say you're going to do something, then you do it. That's basically the law of integrity. The law of integrity. To do what you say, oops, you are going to do. Re 
regardless, now let me tell you, regardless of what gets in your way, of what gets in your way, because let me tell you, once you say you're going to do something, once you put it out there, the universe is going to test you. It's written in the laws of the universe that mesh with the laws of yoga. If you say you're going to do something, the universe is going to test you. If you say, I want to achieve this goal, the universe is going to test you. It's going to say, it's going to put circumstances, events, and people in your way to distract you. To see if you're really committed to living a life of congruence. Because we can all say, yeah, I want to earn uh, an A. But you know what? Oh, I just didn't do my homework. Do you think that's A? No. That's an A attitude? Mm -hmm. No. Right? So we have to be very careful. We need to be very careful. We must live a life of congruence. Live by the law of integrity. And if you don't live by the law of integrity, what happens is now you're out of integrity and now we have problems. Okay, we can stop that.